this is a follow-up video to my request for advice on um, restoring this knitter that you see right here. Now, I got a little impatient yesterday, and um, I wanted to show you this because this is really an unusual knitter. I want to show you how I did this. Um, I realized that if I built up the layers with egg tempera, um, it might give me a completely even coat, but it was going to take an awful long time and be very meticulous and would have been, um, would have taken a lot of drying time. So I plowed right in and just did it with acrylic. Right now this has about three layers of acrylic on it, but only in certain areas. Um, the hat was completely bare. The hair had faded and chipped. Um, and the coat, but the way I did this, I did put some blue here, but that's the original blue right next to it that I did not paint over. This is the original yellow. I did not paint over that. What I did for the first step was to define the black, and I have to, um, I still have another coat of red to go on here, and I'll, I'll straighten out these lines a little bit when I do that. Um, sorry, the dog just... What I did first, um, I could see the mouth and the chips, and I could see enough of the eyes to know what they looked like. That black line for the curl was there, that black line, and that black line. The coat black line was there. And when I looked closely, I found a bow and buttons. So this is what this uh, knitting doll looked like originally. And here, you know, I've had it since I was uh, two. This was given to me when I was two. And the condition you saw it in, in the other video, was because I took it everywhere with me. And yet it had the appearance of being like a little old lady when it's really a juvenile knitter. And it was once I defined the black, um, and if you look closely, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, there are bumps where the paint had chipped. But this ended up being the best way for me to do this. And in my opinion, even though I painted over it, I do consider this restoring the doll, the knitter, to what she looked like originally. I have a couple of lines to clean up. Liquitex acrylics. Um, so no paint on that yellow, no paint on that narrow blue stripe. Um, Liquitex acrylics on that blue, on the coat, the black, um, the eyes, the face, flesh tone. And I did all of that with, um, I think it's a set of 36 colors, and I mixed my own colors to match the originals. And then I got daring... And this one, this was my little old lady. The only t thing I touched on this was the head portion. And not even completely, as you can see, that's original right there. On this one, she was so pathetic. This eye is original, and that's what it looked like. The mouth was there, and just the line of the nose. So I was able to give her the other eye. It's a little bit different. Um, and again, I can finish fixing it. Um, but this one really had been mistreated. I don't, I don't know um, if it's German, Austrian. Um, it's old. It's very, very old. And it's got chips and cracks. And um, But the only thing I wanted to do was give her her face back. And, you, you know, she still looks a little bit different, but she actually looks like a little girl now like an Alice in Wonderland figure, instead of this horrible old thing missing half her face. So I think um, with some respect, you can bring some of these back to where they're... Um, I'm not going to use her, probably. I'm going to fix, uh, balance out the eyes a little bit more. Maybe um, another coat on the hair. I just gave her blonde hair because she has kind of a... Uh, 
stereotypical German kind of look. I don't know why that meant blonde to me. Um, but now I can put her away and know that, you know, she's not horrible looking. But this one is going to get a couple more coats of paint and then a, an acrylic clear coat. And I'm going to use her. Now, if I were doing this for someone else, I would probably look at it just slightly differently. There never was any paint at the bottom of the hat. I might fill that in. Um, what else? I might fill in the bottom ring where the paint is obviously missing. But because this was mine, I just want it back to what it used to look like so I can use it. So I have to go over the bow again and touch up some other things. But she's going to get an, a Liquitex uh, matte medium acrylic clear coat, and I'm going to use her. And Elizabeth rides again.